Hey, what is up, everybody? It is No One Shut. Come back to you with another Star Trek Fleet video today. We're going to talk about how to make the sarcophagus a little bit more of a palatable purchase. If Scopely would actually listen to this video, they would understand a way to fix the ship to make it more of a palatable purchase, even at $300. Yes, I know, $300 is a lot. But I did some thinking, I did some not math, but I did some thought process of how to make it more of a palatable purchase. One of the devs asked me, and I came up with this idea. I told one of the other devs the other day, and he's like, yeah, I'll bring it to the team, but there's no promises. But it's a good idea. But let's go into the video and look at the sarcophagus. This ship has been one of the most expensive ships, event ships, single use, one trick pony ships in the game. And it only has the one use is to sit on nodes while a active territory is going on. And basically that's it. That's all it does is sit on it and amplifies the damage out. And that's all it does. So my suggestion for this ship is easy. So as we look at some of these stats, if we look at like the weapon stats, we look at some of these weapon stats. So 308, 373, that's not on a node. And if you take, if we take a look at, let's say an auger. An auger sits at 95,000 damage minimum, 114,000. So in my opinion, what they need to do with the, this third right here, this, this ship, the sarcophagus, they need to amplify these weapon damages up to a normal ship's level. So instead of it being 308 at tier six, tier six, right? It's tier six, tier six, it should be close to 80,000 and minimum 90,000 per shot or 50,000, 60,000, whatever it is. They need to, they need to take, tailor it from, let's say what tier one to three at a Bordis level. So whatever a tier three base Bordis is, and then you take it to max at tier uh, tier one base Bordis to a tier three base or, or tier max, tier three or tier max or tier eight max tier nine Bordis to tier, this one's tier three. From tier three to tier nine, they need to treat it like the auger. Take some of the stats from the auger, shooting patterns, shield, health, yada, 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 and transplant it to that stats. So it makes it equal. And then tier nine to tier 12 should do it in between from auger to, uh, what is it, Katinga at a base level. And this ship would be able to fill in that whole middle gap of every ship in between. So like 34 through 39, there's no, G4 ships or anything that has a filler gap until you get to 41. So in my opinion, they need to be able to fill those gaps, make the ship a normal ship, be used outside of territory capture. Yeah, it has that special token, cool, whatever, but they need to fill that gap in to make it a normal ship, to make it more of a palatable purchase for it. Because if this ship was usable outside of territory capture and it was able to use for PvP, PvE, anything in those in those lines, then it'd be more of a ship that's worth the $300. I know some people would say it's not worth it. No ship's worth it. But some ships you sit there and you like an Enterprise. A thousand, fifteen hundred dollars just to purchase an Enterprise straight out. And a lot of people won't, but some will. If this ship was more in that line of not a single use ship that was used outside of a battle, a territory battle, and it is equal to it, the weapon, all the stuff would be equal to some other ships just amplified up. So you take all these stats and you amplify them to a normal level for these ships, for these levels for a normal ship. And then you would take this, this stat and you would lower it. You would lower it to accordance to what it is now. So if they amplified A, the total damage per round, and then they would do their division, their math, whatever you call it. And then they would give you your average. What this would be then. So instead of this ungodly number, 130,000 extra damage or 13,000 extra damage, it would be a lot less. But you would fix that by amplifying the weapons. And you would be having a normal ship, a ship but it may be slow. If they get caught with this during PvP, then you deserve to die. Basically, because this thing is slower than hot garbage because it it, it lumbers 55 impulse it is slow as you see my stats right now if we look at the dpr 15k dpr at tier six now let's go grab i'm gonna grab this ship right here i'm gonna grab the bordis or i'm gonna look at the bordis quick look at the dpr for the bordis would be da, 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 da. dpr is 536k for the bordis and this is a Bordis. 
Like we do a direct direct comparison. So let's go to the ship directly. We do switch ships and we look at the Bordis again. As you can see, if you look at go down, let's see, where's the DPR again? Uh, damage per round. The Bordis has that much more on it to this ship. We compare it to a Brel. There is slight numbers. Yeah, it's a jelly. Yeah, whatever. But I'm saying these ships should be equal to a normal G3 ship. It's a G3 ship, G4 high ship. However, you look at it, it is both of those. It's a hybrid of both ships because at 1 to 9, it is a G3 ship. 9 to 12, it is a G4 ship. So let's try to get Scopely to fix it to make it more of a hybrid ship that you can use outside of. Outside territory capture would be the best option to fix this ship. I know Scopely won't listen, or they hopefully will, because miracles do happen. I really hope they try to actually go into that. But I want to go into the battle log and show you what it can do in a territory capture. What it can do with one. So let me go down my list. I have a lot of defeats because I was just meh. So those are all OPCs, OPCs. I got to look for where's Kenny at. OPC, OPC should be right here. Kenny, Kenny, love you, bro. You're gonna use the battle log. So you've seen this battle. It took about a million damage off. This was on a node. This is tier six, I think point one yesterday because I stopped upgrading because I had to wait for that special thing to get it. And if we look at these DPR or damage per round, so right, if you can see on this, I was using Gorkin, Curla, and Harrison. So people are like, eh, but look at this first round. So everything hit right at once, and we go down. I get a good little hit on my ship. He crit me right away, but as we go into it, a million first shot, million and eight. And he mitigated about 647K right off the bat. He received his shield 6,900 or 6, oh, 693,000, and then the ship received 364,000 to hull, which didn't make sense for Harrison. Should have been reversed. I don't think Harrison's working properly on the ship. And then, but I think it's kinetic, so I could be wrong. So, and then we do the next shot, which is about 484k, which is penance. Next shot is 413k. The next kinetic shot is 1,000 or 107. I think it's a million, whatever it is. But as you see, it's a million and seven. And then you can see it goes in. And then we go down to the same round we're still in. The, they reactivate the abilities again. Hull breach activates. And then 407k, 428k. 453k, 460k, and we go back down to a normal shot again. A million of four. A million of four again. The first round, I think we did about six million damage, give or take. And then the second round, it doesn't shoot once, so it was hitting it. Third round, we get into it, we get another shot of 952,000. And this ship is godly big. And I can see these things able to take out G4 ships pretty easily. Depending on the crew use, depending on all that, we don't use morale because the ship has no shielding whatsoever. So if we look at, so attack is 90K and then it gets amplified, of course, you just know that once on node. I wish it would reflect it directly, but if we go down to, uh, uh, where's the shield? Shield is at 51K. Let's compare it to Enterprise Shield. Do, 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 do. Oh, shield pairs, oops. Do, 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 do. Shield is, deflection is zero. So it has no deflection. So we can go down to the uh, Enterprise, deflection is 163K. Remember it's Battleship versus uh, explore but there is that difference so as you see this log shows that this ship is usable but it is usable only in a single case scenario it's not usable outside of that single case scenario it is just that single case scenario so what they need to do is take it and bring it up to a normal ship's level to be used outside of territory capture and to pvp to pve and just make it a normal ship for everything it didn't make it more of a palpable purchase and more of a attractive purchase I know a lot may not say it, but if you look at some of the servers, my server in my bracket when I was in it had three people who got it. Other servers have nine, other servers have, it varies. Scopus plan wasn't to have everyone to get the ship, but I would like to see a more of a palatable purchase for $300 because an event ship that costs that, too, that much is just too much. Even at this time of climate of the world and this time of season, it just doesn't make any sense. But at least we can get a free by next year. It's well, after this event is over, as long as you have the Elite Battle Pass, you'll have most of the prints that you need for it, and you'll have, you only need 18, so you'll be able to fill in in the next month as long as they have the ship parts for it, but that's just my suggestion. I know this video is kind of all over the place, and me is rambling, but I want to make this video for you guys and 
show it off. All right, guys, it is no one shut sign out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. Oh, wait. The spiel. The spiel. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe button, that bell notification down below. And go and hit that see more button down below. Go join my Discord. It is down there. Become awesome. Below that is a donation. If you want to help me out, especially during Christmas time, click that button, hit the donate. And below that, if you want to help the channel out on a monthly basis, go down, hit that join button. It's two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month. And it'll be on a monthly basis. And you'll help the channel out. And you'll get a shout out at the end of the videos. I update the credits every month because going back and forth through it gets to be a pain. But anyways, it is no one shall sign out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.